All right, and welcome back, gamers of every stripe. Tamiris here. Today we've got Animal Fight Club because browsing through the Steam store it was like two bucks and had an interesting premise of you you take one animal and another animal, you do some mad science and splice them together to a new animal, and then it jumps on to like those. Uh, totally accurate battle simulators. That that little craze that's going on right now. It's one of those deals. For like two bucks. So why not check that out? All right. Welcome to AFC. Choose your first army type. You need fire, or water, or air, or rock. We're going to go with good old rock. Nothing beats rock and rock, paper, scissors. Welcome to Animal Fight Club. From now, this will be this will your HQ. From here, you will manage your army and your resources. Select Edit Army to add remove animals from your army and to edit your formation. Select Mix Animals to create new creatures mixing two different animals. Mixing animals costs two science points or SPs. This icon shows you how many SP you own. Select Order Animal to buy a new random animal. Ordering an animal costs five SP. From single player menu, you will play the campaign missions. Multiplayer menu, you will challenge your friend's army or you will fight random players online. Sandbox menu, you will test your army against a custom army. You will also be able to create new levels here. Now let's try... Let's try get into battle. That's what that said. Okay. It's just gonna throw us right in. Day one, type fire, two waves, reward, eight science points. Let's do it. The big day had arrived. The fighters would come all over the world to participate to the Global Animal Fight Club tournaments. All right. The years of training in the forest had finally borne fruits. Your army was strong and vigorous. Yes. Also, this time you had the immense power and technology of the machine. No other challenger had similar advantages. Or rather, not yet. That's foreshadowing. Battle starting in seconds. We have Ant. Oh shit, we control the animal. Waz to move your animal and spacebar to attack. Q and E dodge enemy attacks. Tab to switch to another unit. Make sure to attack an enemy weak, an enemy weak to your attacks. Press up to see your attacks. Great, you can see those in other game controls. And pause menu. Your army is pretty weak. Win some battles, gain some SP, buy or create new animals, and add them to your deployment. Okay, let's go! Let's go, Ant! Ants are strong against flamingos. That seems correct. Oh, look at that! Take that! Take that, you damn chicken! None can... None can stand to the might of the ants! The mighty ant. They made a whole movie about that. It's called Them. It's an entire movie about why the ant is a ferocious predator. Oh crap, the, the horse is, a, is an HP boat! I'm tripping over my words. I need backup! Okay, the horse is definitely gaining some kind of advantage. I need to try and use dodge mechanics, that's what I need to be doing. Okay, okay, it looks like it's, just, it's all three of us against the horse. Alright, we can do this! Oh, I dodged into it! Damn horse. Alright, circle around behind it. Nip it in the butt, Ant. Go! Go, Ant! Go! Get it! Sick it, Ant! Oh, man, we are messing up that horse now. Get out of the way! Get over here, you damn low poly horse! I will kill you! Got it! Alright. We took some damage, but we did it. We didn't lose anybody. Menu. Okay. All right. Look, it's time for us to just go now. Edit army. What do we have? We have 133 of 500 kg. Army health 259. What is this thing? It is a D snake. Would you like to remove D snake from your army? No. I just want to know what a D snake is here. Ah, there's already some preset formations that we can use. They're uh, not exactly too ferociously different. Probably because of the sheer fact we have a whole three animals. 
Well, we have too many animal. We have a, an animal because it looks to just be a coyote. I thought it was a fox, but it's a coyote. And then we have a D snake. I'm still not sure what a D snake is. And then we have the ant. So at least we have a representative of the invertebrates. This ant weighs 34 kilograms. That is a fucking huge ant. Okay. So. Oh, this was the menu I was just in. What am I doing? Mix animals. We can mix the ant and the coyote together. Let's do coyote. Ant. Fusion ha! I have no idea what we're gonna get out of this. And we get. Oh my god, that is a monstrosity! But I do not regret. For science! We got an Aniote. That's what I'm gonna call that. Uh, it's strong against water, but very strong against air. It's not very good against rock or fire. Add to inventory. So that took away the ant and coyote I had, didn't... Yes, it did. Okay. Well, we need to rebuild an army. That's what we need to do. Offers of the day. Well, I can't afford any of those because I is the poor. So inside of this box we get a frickin' pterodactyl, or no, a, a pterodon. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the goddamn pterodon. I got a frickin' dinosaur. Of course I'm gonna keep that. Let's order in another one. And what we got, what we got? Another ant. We got a replacement ant. All right. All right, all right. I think I can deal with that. You know what? Let's just go ahead and just do it absolutely crazy. We're going to do the ant first, then the Terraton. Give me the fusion. Science! All right. It's a Terradon with a 34 kilogram ant head. Well, that just gave it a nice general boost overall. All right. Uh, edit the army. Add the pterodon. We're gonna take that formation. That looks good. That works with me. Single player. Day two. We're fighting against the fire team. All right. Let's go at this. Go ahead and control the antioch. Get the goats! Get the goats! Come on. Coyote should be strong against the goats. The ant just enhances the strength. That, that's how science works. That's how science works, kiddos. Oh god, we are taking a beating from that goat. That's the problem. They do have a very strong head, but... Get in the butts! Get in the butts! Uh, out of the way, don't take unnecessary damage! Alright. Good job, D-Snake. This all gave you the credit for the kill. It's now a couple of chickens! We can do this! We can take them! They're just chickens! Take that! Coyotes have no problems dealing with chickens! What's next? What's next? We got some foxes! That is... Is that the sound foxes make? It horrifies me. They're trying to get us through morale! Show them that your will is unshakable! Alright. Well, that didn't go down too badly, if I don't say myself. Let's go ahead and start getting some more uh, volunteers for our scientific experiments. Yes! We got a Velociraptor. He is incredibly oversized because he's a Jurassic Park Velociraptor, but I'm okay with this. Order me another! And inside of this box, we have... It's a seagull! It's a seagull! I was right. The seagull is quite weak. He's going to be fodder to be 
fused together. We're just going to go ahead and add the raptor right now. I'm going to hold out to see if we get something better. Let's see here. I don't like that, putting the raptor there. That puts that way too far ahead. Uh, you know what? I can do a custom. We're going to do a custom. No, I don't want to remove it. I just want to set up. Okay, this is the formation we're going to go with because the raptor is currently the big boy, so he's going to lead the front. And then we have the D-snake. I'm still not sure what the first part of the D-snake... It's a deer! That's what it is. It's a deer snake. God, why is that actually... Actually, I know why that's not an animal because it would be horrifying to exist as an animal. But whatever. But we have the raptor in front and then we have the anyote and the D-snake doing flanking maneuvers with it. And then we have, because it's very fast, the Tarant. That's actually a name I really dig, honestly. The Tarant is all the way in back because he's very fast, so he can he can react to whatever needs to be done. That's the general thought process I'm going with. Let's move into day three against the water group. Oh my god, it's a bunch of geese! Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to approach us carefully. Oh, Jesus! The goose! The goosens have a very high attack! We've lost the idiots! Oh, good lord, no. I've forgotten the button to switch! Oh, this is going terribly. I forgot the- I, I seriously forgot the button I'm supposed to press the switch. Oh, no! Oh god, it's getting down to the wire and I can't see! Spence! No, 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 no! No! Okay, we're gonna have to approach this slightly differently now that we know it's the geese. Okay, I figured out the button to move it was tab. Alright. I tried a slightly different formation, unfortunately the raptor was too quick and kind of ruined the whole plan I had. Just get up behind it! Gotta use tactics here! We gotta try and use our tactics. No, I keep dodging into the attack! Take that, you damn goose! Just hit and run! We just gotta do hit and run! Okay, there's a lot of geese. This is not going well. Okay. Geese are vicious, man, I'm telling you. No! No, I got stuck! Okay, this went over terribly. I'm gonna have to reevaluate. Okay, at least with that I'm able to see what the issue is. Because we've had the raptor leading the charge, but he's not good against water. So he's gotta do these whole maneuvers. And just try to pick out a weakling. We also add in the seagull so we can basically have some more meat. Alright, alright. This is going over a bit more effectively. I think the mistake was leading the charge with the raptor. Knowing that he was weak against water now. God, there goes the Terran just being a freaking beast. Alright, we got some more science points so we can get ourselves some more animals. I know I should probably be saving up, but I, I really want to have bolstered forces before I start worrying about that. We've got a crab! Okay, let's go ahead and order up another one. We've got another crab! I wonder if you can combine the same animal. You cannot! Okay. I think it's going to be better to put the crab and seagull together. They're kind of complementary. And we got... The Sega Crab. The Sega Crab. That's actually a pretty well-rounded little creature right there. And... I gotta be honest, this... This crab here, oh, it's it's the claws coming out of the face. But uh, I thought they were eyes, and I'm like, this is pulling like a seagull trying to be Black Manta. Okay. Alright. So here's what we're going to do, because I'm sure the crab is slow. We're going to do... 
Actually, the crab's the most disposable thing I have here. We're gonna do this. This is what we're going to attempt. And then I'm sure we're going to fail horribly here. On the fourth day, Challenger appeared with non-standard animals. Someone else knew the secrets of the machine! Alright, we're gonna go ahead and take the Sega Crab. Oh my god, it's like a Mass Effect shifty cow there. Okay, this is... This is definitely being a bit more intense here. Alright. We're winning! We're winning! It's all because we put the crab out as a sacrifice. All right, there we go. Sega Crab for the win. Now, what's up next? Okay, it looks like it's the same thing. Oh, no, it's not. That thing's got an alligator face. That is definitely something you don't want to be standing in front of. At least they don't have a croco swing, so that thing is terrifying. There's not many animals I think I'm terrified of, but croco sphinx? Yeah, that... That's a scary thought. Okay, we just need to get this thing. Got it! Now we need to get their D snake. No! They got the coyote tents! Alrighty. I know we lost too, but it wasn't actually that terrible of a loss. We did kind of okay there. What do we got? What do we got? A chicken! Alright, I got us a ch crab. Oh god, it's a bunch of crocodiles. We're gonna go ahead and use the antioch because he's good with uh he's good with water. The Sega Crab is just going in at it. I just really hope the Sega Crab knows what it's doing and that it can handle that much damage from that many crocodiles. It's Anio, it's just tearing crocodiles up. Actually, we really tore that up pretty effectively. I'm proud of you, team! It's an elephant! Oh, God! Granted, it is not actually doing that much to us. We are doing a shit ton to it. Yeah! That elephant was nothing. Good job, little antiote. And there we go, dropping something... Off my desk, because my desk is a mess, because it keeps being a mess, especially when I'm trying to get caught up on painting stuff. And we have a horse. We now have the horse raptor. I do not regret this decision in any way. Alright, let's edit up the formations. I'm still going to put the horse raptor in the rear. I'm kind of seeing it as everybody else is getting in, doing the damage, and then the horse raptor rushes in and be like, What now? I am a horse raptor. What have you got on me? Nothing. I am going to put our flyers further back, though. Let's get the cheek crab more in the middle, and the anyote and the D snake are going to take a bit further of a formation. Let's do it. Do a six. I'm gonna take out our new horse raptor. This has definitely made the raptor, the uh, horse raptor faster. Oh crap, they are doing a ton of damage to the D snake. It's not looking good for D snake. All right, we got it. All right. Snake tried to have me worry for nothing. I haven't lost anybody yet. Okay, we just got two of them. Oh god, it looks like it's Hawk Raptors! I know there's text on them, but I can't actually read the text. It's too small. God, get wrecked! Dude, me and the Terran are just ripping this thing apart. Take that! All right, good job, team. Oh shit, there's another wave. Owls! Oh good! 
I tried to say, oh god, and it came out as, oh good. Ah, oh, there we go. Dealt with the owls like they weren't anything. Let's go fuck up these goats! Alright, look, this me and the Antioch are gonna have a one on one. Ah, uh, the goats got in the first hit. This isn't. This isn't doing well. This isn't going well for us. Actually, it's going over fantastically because now here's the whole team! Take that. Stupid little goat. Alright, what are we gonna deal with next? Are these goat geese? Oh my god, those have a lot of HP. No! I need assistance! Team! To me! No! Alright, let's let's take the D-Snake out, who has taken, like, no damage. Of course, he's got some long reach to him, that's probably why. Oh crap, we're losing people! Take that! Oh man, we... We definitely took some casualties there. Oh, good lord, is that a fucking Jabberwocky. Okay. This is, this is an intense fight, because as soon as one person makes the wrong move, it's probably going to be all over. I have a tighter turn radius! Ah, you thought you had me. Oh god, it's got a fire breath! Okay, okay, I just gotta, I gotta get into sneak attacks. I'm not above this! I will not be defeated! Get out of the way, get out of the way. There we go, I got two hits on, took nothing. That's what we need. Go for the neck! It'll be powerless without a head. I can just feel it. No, no, don't dodge into the fire. Okay, I think I, got, I think it's got two more hits. There we go. Take that. All right, that was actually a bit of an intense fight there. Get an animal. Got, we got a goat. We got an elephant goat. That should be a nice addition. I can't fit in the elephant goat. I have to lose somebody. All right, we've got the D-Snake, the elephant goat, the horse raptor, and the Tarant. Let's see how well this goes for us. Now I'm going to take out the elephant goat. Ramming speed, goat. Ramming speed. This thing is a goddamn tank. Still kind of nimble on its feet if it needs to be, though. Oh, I'm just being... I'm being pecked to death. Come on, turn. That's definitely the one problem with Elephant Goat is it cannot really maneuver. All right, we still have another wave to deal with. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch out. I think I'm going to take the Terrant now. Get around the side of these... Are these like griffin wolves? Griff wolves? Something like that, I think. Okay, this isn't gonna go well. Yeah, I don't think the... I don't think the alpha goat was a good ad. Alright, we're gonna try this again. We're using some of the older animals. They have good typing against air. So I'm hoping that's going to prove beneficial to us. Like the Anyote is just... He's got a huge air stat. He's over here just one-shotting these things. Yeah, that was a mistake to leave this one behind. I'm assuming I can actually just hit. God, get wrecked. Okay, okay. Now we just have to deal with these horrifying monstrosities. These are the guys that are going to be way too tough to deal with, I think. Oh, 
No, we've lost the Anios. He did a lot of damage before he went out, though. Okay. Okay, I think that's gonna require going back to the drawing board to figure this out. What's the, what's the sandbox mode like? What is this? Okay, I, I tried looking at the sandbox mode. Uh, the problem is with how it sets up. I think this is gonna be better if I can take more time than time is probably allotting to do a video here to uh, figure this out because I think it's we use the stuff that we have and then deal with these waves of you you set up the wave it's not what you're using against the wave it's what you got in here is what you use against the wave so I think for now actually why don't we go ahead and take a look at a multiplayer let's see if we can find a match we're gonna wait for an opponent I bet we're going to be waiting for a while. We are not. I don't know if that's a real person or not. I have no idea how well this is going to work out. Probably terribly. They have a huge health advantage. Doesn't matter. We wanted to see what multiplayer looked like. And it's going over terribly. Okay. There you go, that was a multiplayer match, I guess. Alrighty. That, I think that's that's enough for an Animal Fight Club. Um, I, it's on sale for $2, and I gotta be honest, as a $2 game, I'm kind of enjoying it. I think it's nice and ridiculous to be able to just... Like, I see this as a game that you just pop in, because you're like, I got like half an hour to kill. And you just pop it in, just... Combo some animals, do some animal fighting, and, and there you go. Half an hour's gone. In fact, I'm sure half an hour's gone right now. I don't set up a timer when I do these. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea now that I say it out loud and hear it and realize that wouldn't be a bad idea. But anyway, that is beside the point. This is Animal Fight Club. And you can, like I said, it's on sale right now for like a whole whopping... Two dollars. Two bucks. And, I mean, it's nothing groundbreaking or earth-shattering, but, like I said, it's good to pop in and be like, I got half an hour to kill today. And then you kill a half an hour with comboed coyote ants fighting deer snakes or some crazy nonsense like that or something like that. I'm just rambling on basically not establishing a point. I'm realizing right now, because I didn't actually try and think out a cohesive way to end this. So, I'm just... I think I'm just going to end it and uh, get back to trying to slay this painting backlog that I have that is... Well, it's quite monstrous, to be honest with you. 